So when you went to Baltimore, you went initially to be a, a an broadcast, anchor woman, an anchor yeah. woman mm -hmm. and then it didn't quite work out. Yeah, I got fired. Well, you, <laughs> you well, got, well, demoted. I was you got demoted, but they didn't. They had a contract, yeah. so they didn't say goodbye. Yeah. And then how did you work out to be on a uh, afternoon show where you actually got to be an interviewer? How did that actually happen? Well, what happened was they, they this is how, this is what, what I now know with age and perspective, that many times getting demoted is an opportunity for something else to show up or getting fired. You know, lots of people I've interviewed over the years who have these stories about the best thing that ever happened to you. It puts you in the next best place. I was not a good television reporter. I was too emotional. I would go out on the stories and, you know, then try to take blankets back to the people. But you were also very young. You were, yeah. you were 21 yes, or 22. Yes, and I was very also empathetic. And, and I was always getting written up for getting myself involved in other people's business. And so uh, I was making $22,000 a year. And my best friend, Gail, who I met there at the time, she was uh, also working there. And um, she said, oh my God, you're 22, making 22,000. Imagine when you're 25, <laughs> then you're 30. So I'd be making 60 about now, it'd be good, 62. And um, <laughs> glad that didn't work out, yeah. But uh, we were, we were, uh, we, when, once I got demoted, they didn't want to pay out my contract. I was making $25,000 a year. They didn't want to pay me the $25,000. Right. So they kept me on and said, we'll put you on this talk show just to run out your contract.